Hey guys, Anton Alog here, and for a while now, the Define R4 from Fractal Design has been many PC enthusiasts' case of choice, but with new competition coming from Fantex and Thermaltake, does the brand new Define R5 have enough to offer over those two competitors? So you've probably already seen a bunch of R5 reviews already, so instead of making a YouTube video that you've already watched a billion times, this video will be a different video where I go over what makes this case unique and stand out from the market. So the first thing that makes the R5 unique is the elegance and minimalism. And Fractal has been famous for its minimalistic design, and you can definitely see that design language carries over to the R5. The exterior is all black and looks very business-like. It's also very sleek, and overall the aesthetics just look very nice. So there are no special angles, LEDs, or gamer bling, and it looks super subdued and not flashy at all. So it's perfect for a work environment or a workstation. And it has a metal and plastic design, and the plastic is made to look like brushed aluminum, which gives it a more classy look. However, it does feel a bit cheap because the plastic does exhibit a lot of flex. Also, when you open up the front panel, this case does have two five and a quarter inch bays, so if you happen to need those and still use an optical drive, this case does have it for you. Finally, there's a windowed version for you to show off the hardware inside and also a non-windowed version, which includes a Modjuvent on the side panel. So the second thing about the R5 that makes it stand out is the silence. There is sound dampening foam all over the case, from the front panel to the top panel, and even the side panels. Something unique that Fractal Design has are mod events, and I really don't think this is the way to go, but it kind of does work. Basically, these three panels that you see on the top of the case are mod events, and when you take them out, you open up fan mounting spots for top radiators or top fans. However, it does get rid of the silencing feature, and that pretty much kills the entire point of the R5. So while you do have a plethora of radiator and fan mounting holes on the top, you really can't use them if you still want to keep the silencing effect on the R5. One thing I think that Fractal could have done is implemented the front panel and just put it on the top because the front panel does block out a lot of noise and at the same time open up fan mounting options and it's really just a very useful feature to have because you can have all those water cooling options on the top and keep the silence. Furthermore, the Modjuvents don't have a dust filter, so if you are going to remove them, you might want to add your own dust filter, and that's something I really wanted to see, and I was kind of disappointed that Fractal Design did not include. Also, they included two fans. While it is a very little amount of fans, they are really, really quiet and pretty much up to par with my Be Quiet fans, and I really think that if you're going with the R5, you don't need to invest in quieter fans because the R5 fans are already very quiet. However, you might want to get an extra fan because in my opinion, two fans just isn't enough for a high powered build. Another thing that makes the R5 special is the hard drive capacity. There are 8 3.5 inch hard drive bays and also 2 SSD mounts in the back of the case for a total of 10 different drive mounts. The hard drive cages are also modular to make room for rads in the front and the top and you can also remove the 5 and a quarter inch bays on the top for a top mounted large rad. And the final thing that makes the R5 so unique is the water cooling capabilities. So here's a rundown of all the radiators you can fit in the Define R5. On the front, you can fit a 120, 140, 240, 280, and a 360 in the front of the case with the removable hard drive cages. On the top, you can have a 120, 140, 240, 280, 360, and a 420 radiator. And on the back, you have space for a 120 or a 140 radiator. On the bottom, you can mount a 120, 140, and 240 if you remove the hard drive cage on the bottom. On a side note, the dust filter on the bottom spans the entire length, so if you are mounting an intake rad from the bottom, you will be covered for dust protection. So in conclusion, the elegant design, the silencing features, hard drive capacity, and also water cooling really make this case a strong competitor. So there are a couple drawbacks to this case. One is the mod events, and I really don't like this because if you want to have a top mounted radiator or a fan, you will have to remove the mod events and thus sacrificing sound dampening. Also, there are no dust filters on the mod events, and on the top is where dust usually settles, so that is also a big problem. 
So another drawback is the hard drive cages. The hard drive cages do obstruct airflow and I really like what NZXT has done, spacing their hard drive bays apart so that you have more room for airflow. But another trade off of that would be that you have less hard drive bays. And it's really a situation where you have to decide which one is better for you. Overall, the R5 is still a very competitive case in the case market, and if you're looking for a minimal and silent case that has great water cooling options, I would definitely recommend this case. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.